Lord, man. <laughs> oh, man. Today I'm in a 2017 BMW M2 with the M Performance Package. This is one of 150 offered for North America in 2017 with this specific group. It's the ZL9 Options Group. It includes these manually adjustable sport seats. They are not heated, no lumbar support. It's got a great sounding exhaust with titanium tips and M Motorsports badging on the muffler. It's got revised coilover suspension. It's got black front and side grills. Uh, and it's not governor limited at 155 miles an hour. It goes about 170 miles per hour. They were all finished in Alpine white with a Dakota black leather interior with this really cool blue stitching. And this is one of those cars that I think, and I hate to talk about value here, but it's gonna be worth some money in 10, 15, or 20 years because of the rarity of the options group. This is BMW's swan song to the N55 motor, I feel like, before they went to the S55 engine in 2018 in the competition car, which quite frankly, sounds nowhere near as good as this motor. That motor was a detuned version of the M3 motor. M3, M4 motor, 405 horsepower versus 365 horsepower for this engine. Um, but again, doesn't sound as good, and the competition car is heavy. 100 pounds heavier than this car, so straight line performance, quarter mile performance, uh, almost identical, you know, and almost identical with the M4, and this one with a base price of 52 grand. Well, I think a much better value than the M4, and quite frankly, uh, looks better. I like the proportions of the M2, versus the proportions of the M4, even though that is a great looking car. And the M2 competition car, uh, I never liked the wheels on that car. Those are just weird wheels. Let's hammer down on this thing. Goodness gracious, this thing is fast. Zero to 60 in just over four seconds. A uh, quarter mile goes by, and uh, I've seen anywhere from 1240s to 1260s at about 110, 115 miles an hour which is super fast. I mean, I grew up race, racing Fox Body Mustangs, and if your car went 115 miles an hour and a quarter, that was a legitimately fast car, okay? Pulls over a G on the skid pad and breaks from 70 to zero in about 150 feet. Again, all for a base price in 2017 of about 52 grand. A lot of value, a lot of performance for the dollar, and this one being super low production numbers, uh, I think is gonna hold its value pretty well in the future. I do think this is one of those cars that Roundell does a write-up about, say in 2045, and maybe the title would read the Long Lost ZL9 Options Group M2, right? Because it is one of 150, and those geeky kind of sort of little options group like that, I think they do make the car worth more money in the future, you know? People love that kind of rarity. These seats, by the way, are fantastic. The manually adjustable seats are great. The rod is a little bit firm, but that's to be expected. The coilovers are firmer than the standard M2, uh, the performance package coilovers. Uh, and the exhaust, man, it sounds really great. It's not overbearing, it doesn't drone, but it certainly does sound good. And as far as acceleration, the smash on this thing. Good Lord, man, it's so fast. This transmission is great, by the way. I mean, as an enthusiast, I would definitely choose the six speed, but then I say that, and I think BMW's take rate on these was about 50-50 DCT uh, to manual. So I think a lot of enthusiasts are choosing this transmission because quite frankly, it's easier to get lap times, it's faster, it's more efficient, and it does involve a level of engagement. Yeah, so overall, I would take the concession and the base M2 versus spending more money and getting a competition package car. You get a better sounding car, you get a better looking car, the wheels look better. And this one, perhaps, might be collectible. Also, for sale on Bring a Trailer, check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Peace out.